Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you what I got my kids for their stockings this year. I am so excited for Christmas. We are less than 10 days away, almost five days away. It's coming up so fast and stockings are usually one of the last things I you know, do. So I thought maybe if I shared this with you, you guys could get some quick ideas if you have some last minute stocking stuffers to grab. And so I'll show you what I got both my girls. I have a three-year-old, almost four. She'll be four in March. So she's really almost four, three. And a one-year-old who is like 15 months. So this is what I got them for their stockings. I'll start with the three and a half year old. Every year we get a toothbrush and toothpaste. So like every year she's getting toothpaste. We use Tom's and a toothbrush new. This is an electric toothbrush and it is frozen, which is, you know, the big thing right now. So I think she'll like that and hopefully it'll cause less fight in the bathroom to brush teeth because hopefully she'll be excited. <laughs> I also picked her up this little pig loofah and she is just so jealous of mine. So I thought I would get her one this year too. I also picked up this mermaid pen. This was $1 at Dollar Tree and she just loves mermaids. So this I thought would be a good hit as well. And kind of along with that, I also picked up these stamping markers. And I just thought this was gonna be something, you know, different. We don't have these sort of markers before, but you can see they have like little um, things, different stamps that you can do. So dinosaurs, whales, pizza, unicorn, you know, that sort of thing. So this will, I think, be something, you know, fun and new for her to do drawing and creativity wise. For some more fun, I also picked her up this goo, which she loves, her dad hates because it gets so messy, but um, there's a little bug creature inside, a spider, and she just loves that kind of spooky stuff to be able to scare people, so I thought she would really like this. We also got her some silly string because why not? It's a once a year, it is fun. And some glow sticks. What kid does not love glow sticks? So these will be fun, and I think I'm gonna try to get her to do them in the bath and make the water glow. Um, cause I think that would be fun, a fun, you know, different way to play with glow sticks. So that's another thing we got. I got her some new mittens because she kind of is, you know, out, kind of outgrown some of her littler kid mittens. So I got her some new mittens as well. These are pink and llama, which are two things she really likes. I also got her some new hair ties because right now she has kid hair ties and she hates them. She always just wants to use mine. So I thought I would get her some, you know, more adult style hair ties and in the colors that she likes. I also got her some new nail polish, which is another spa thing. She's a girly girl. She likes the girly girl stuff. So I got her some nail polish. And then I also got her these water coloring tablets. So they're for the bath. Um, I thought that she would like that too. And then I also got her this little princess. This is Aurora, one of her favorite princesses. And it's just like a little figurine, um, but she just loves getting princess things. All her princesses play, so I thought this would be good for her. I also picked up these Disney princess. They are um, earrings, you know, like the little stick on earrings. She doesn't have her ears pierced, but she does love to wear earrings. So I thought she would like these. And if you didn't know, if they don't like to wear them on their ears, they could, they're really good nail stickers too. So just double way to use these. And then I also got her this dress up clothing for her Barbie dolls because she just loves to be able to change clothes out. And I found this for $1, so why not get it? Um, but I got this as well, of course, in pink because she wants all her dolls and Barbies to be in pink because it's her favorite. And then last but not least, I got her a candy cane full of M&Ms and usually we put a lot more candy in the stockings but we decided this year that you know my parents get me in my stocking so much candy and it's good candy like from the nice chocolate shop in our town and so um, we decided that since we get so much from there we didn't really need to overload our kids with candy here but you can't like have a stocking without candy right so I did get her an M&M candy cane because they love M&Ms both girls do so I did get that for her as well and then I guess that's not the quite last thing because I did get these Hatchimal eggs um, and there's two in them so I'm gonna give each girl one so no one's gonna get this pack I'm gonna take open it up and give Isabel one egg and Juliana the other egg so we've never had Hatchimals in our house before. So I think, I think they'll be a big hit. We don't usually buy this type of thing. So 
I think they'll be eager to finally get something with this sort of, um, you know, gimmicky type small toy. And since Juliana will be getting the other one, I'll go ahead and move to Juliana's stocking now. Again, she is one and a half, all mo one and a half is like, oh, that's like 18 months. So she's not quite one and a half yet, um, but she is 15 months. So she's like one-ish, under one and a half, older than one. I don't know, she's one. <laughs> But so in her stocking, I'll give her one of those Hatchimal eggs. Like I said, we always do toothbrush and toothpaste. So just cause you're one doesn't mean you get anything different. <laughs> she gets a toothbrush. I just did animals cause she loves animals so much. And I got the little small soft bristles for her small little teeth. And then she got some Tom's uh, training toothpaste. When she was younger, um, she got like a teething toy as her toothbrush so if you have if you want to start that tradition and you have a little baby babe um a teething toy or one of those like finger toothbrushes could be a good idea she also got m ms and that's the only candy for her as well one of her favorites she got a little duck loofah because if her sister has one in the bath she would be jealous so you know gotta get them both the loofah and then I also got her some water changing tablets. Hers are Baby Shark because that's her favorite right now. So um, it'll be good to have a lot of these because I think they're gonna go through these quick. And then for Juliana, hers are pretty much, all her stocking stuffers, the rest of them are pretty much fun. Isabel's are kind of more like girly glam type things and hers are kind of, she's just one. She doesn't like that stuff yet. So hers are kind of more like toy based or, you know, fun things. Um, so the first thing I got are these little crush pets Honestly, I don't know what they are, except for that they just say you can stretch them and squeeze them and they have squishy feel, and that's something I feel like a one-year-old would like. So I got them. I also got her this little like echo microphone thing. Um, she loves putting her face into cups and just talking to herself. So I thought that this might be a good hit. I don't know, if not, we'll throw it away. It was $1, but. I also got her this little tiny wooden puzzle um, just, you know, to help with shapes and have another little puzzle to do. I got her this little peekaboo toy, which I found at our grocery store and I actually got it for a road trip that we were gonna take this summer, but I forgot to give it to her. So now it's a stocking stuffer and I think she'll like it. And the cool thing is that it's like, hollow there so i think this actually will fit on top of the mega blocks which we have so i think that would be a good like addition to that set she loves balls so of course we had to get her a ball we just got her like a squishy you know pooly one she likes to do that sort of thing so got her one of those we got her a slinky we've never had a slinky in our house i don't think so i think this will be fun for both kids especially isabel's gonna be jealous because it's pink I did get her a Barbie dress up too. She doesn't really have a Barbie, but I didn't want to give both to Isabel. I'm hoping it encourages sharing. So although Juliana probably doesn't like need or want this, I just thought I'd give her one to help with the sharing aspect in our family. So she gets one too. Juliana also gets some glow sticks and some silly string because why not? It'd be fun for them. And then I also got her a tiny roll of tape. She loves scotch tape. I have a tape dispenser and I often find her like climbing up and pooling the tape and just wasting all my tape. So I got her some of her own. Hopefully she likes this kind too and she can figure out how to use it. And then last but not least, I got her a small little thing of post-it notes. These are just such good items for kids. Like she won't do anything with this except for take one and pull them off but it entertains her for a good half hour. And so if I need a half hour, I just hand her a book of post-it notes, you know, and worth it, worth it. It was $1 to get four mini packs in different colors. And that is the best dollar I may have ever spent for some sanity in the future. So if you have not done this with your little one, you might try giving them some post-its. All right, that is all I got my kids for their stockings this year. I hope you got some ideas. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.